It was discovered during a rapid increase in COVID cases in South Africa and scientists are concerned there is some evidence this new surge is linked to B11529. You can be rest assured as people start to move even more over the next few weeks, this will be all over. The UK has already banned travel from these six countries and people who've arrived from there in the last 10 days are being asked to get a PCR test. I was happy to see my family, but I want to get home to my husband and my kids now. It's a big inconvenience. We had our flights booked for a week's time, (coughs) but we got the news from our daughter in the UK about 12.30, 1 o'clock last night. It's unfair, it's unjustified. Um, it's abrupt and it's not good for tourism for South Africa. Other countries around the world have taken similar action. The European Commission has today proposed to member states to activate the emergency break on travel from countries in Southern Africa and other countries affected to limit the spread of the new variant. If the strain is more transmissible, these measures will slow the spread of the strain, but they won't contain it. The good news so far is that there are only a handful of cases of the new variant across the globe. So it looks like we caught this one quite early. The more this virus circulates, the more opportunities the virus has to change. The more mutations we will see. So we need to drive that transmission down so that we reduce the possibility of having more variants emerge. Now the work begins to understand whether this new variant does have an advantage over the deadly Delta strain and our vaccines. Or, like many variants before, it will simply die out. But with the UK and the rest of the Northern Hemisphere heading into winter, reliant on vaccines against a much older strain, it's a genuine cause for concern.